morning, everyone. Happy Stay Home Reading Rush Day 1. It is 8 a.m., a little after, um, Thursday morning, and I am just getting up. I am going to make some breakfast um, and dive into some reading. If you didn't see my TBR video, I will really quickly run through the four books that I'd like to read in this long weekend. Um, the first one being The Laird's Forbidden Lady. This is for the prompt to read a book set somewhere you'd like to go. This takes place in Scotland. Um, it kind of has ties to Outlander. It's about um, Ian, who is a Laird of Den who is the Laird of Denrose, and um, his relationship with Sassanic Selina. And um, I assume it follows them falling in love and it's kind of like a marriage of convenience kind of thing um but this is the only book that I owned that takes place somewhere I'd like to go and I'm just working with what I've got um, at home these days so um, I can try to pick this up and then I'm also going to be reading Red, White, and Red, White, and Royal Blue. This I am currently reading. I'm about 130 pages in. This is my book club book for um, my book club. We've been meeting virtually every month. So this is a book for May. Um, this I am absolutely loving. This is to, I'm choosing this for the prompt of read a book that will make you smile. I I'm already loving this. This has already made me smile. Um, so I'm going to continue reading this. And then to read a book in the same like space the entire time, I'm going to pick up Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. This is kind of just like a giant coffee table book. Um, there are a lot of pictures, but there's also quite a bit of text in here as well. And I think this is a good kind of book that I can read uh, in the same spot. Um, probably either my couch or my bed, but I haven't read this yet. I am always down for my Harry Potter in my life, and this will be a quick, fast-paced read, so I'm gonna pick this up. And then the prompt to read a book with house on the cover, I am choosing And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I have this as an audiobook on Scribd, and um, I do have some things to do around the house today, so I can put that on while I'm doing some kind of chores, um, and I believe, it's only like five or six hours, so that won't take super long to get through either. Um, I am very excited for this readathon. I this is kind of giving me an excuse to get pumped up, and I've been kind of feeling kind of reading slump. I've been kind of in a reading slump lately, so this is going to be the perfect way to kind of get me out of it, keep my mind off the fact uh, that I'm not working. If you didn't see my TBR video, um, I did talk about how I have officially been furloughed from my job. Um, my last day was Friday, so I'm on day three of no work right now. Um, it's rough, um, I'm just trying to make the best of the situation. So this read thought is going to be the kind of the perfect opportunity to just kind of keep my mind off of everything that's going on in the world, um, and everything going on in my life. So how's everyone doing? How is your day going? Um, I don't know if I'm going to do these daily yet, um, or if I'm going to do one long vlog kind of see how much um, footage I have, but I am gonna go make some breakfast and then sit down and pick something to read. I'll see you guys later, bye. Ignore my dirty floor, but how adorable is my puppy with his puppy. Hi, Roy.
Uh, oh my god. So I just I have a dog barking. Hold on. Red uh chapter six of red, white, and royal blue. I am so I'm at page 157. Oh my god. Um whew, what a chapter. Um if you haven't read this book, I don't want to spoil it, but if you have read this book, whew, oh, um, it got steamy, <laughs> um, but I'm absolutely loving this. This was the perfect thing that I needed. Not only is this book putting a smile on my face, it is just making my whole day and it's just making me feel so much better. Um, and I, um, but I am absolutely loving this. Um, I think I'm going to get one more chapter read. So I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna read chapter seven and then I'll be at the like 200 page mark and then um, start an audiobook and get some things down around the house. Um, but I will check in with you when I finish chapter seven. Hey guys, so it is about 10 15. Um, I just finished chapter seven. Um, so I'm up to page 202. Um, whew, chapter seven was a steamy one. <laughs> um, but I am just absolutely in love with this book. I am loving it so much. It's exactly what I needed right now. It um, is making me so happy and making me smile and making me laugh and making me swoon over everything. Um, I'm just loving this book so much. This was the perfect way to start uh, day one of the readathon because it's keeping my interest. It's helping me get out of my reading slump and I am just loving this so, so much. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is this is the stopping spot. I am gonna go shower and I have to wash my hair. Um, and then I do have to do some straightening up around the house. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put in on, I don't know if I'm gonna put on an audiobook or not um, because I don't know if I want to like switch my brain to a new book while I'm so intrigued into this. So I might just put on some music and um, get some things done around the house. But how is everyone doing? How is your day going? If you're reading, hope you're enjoying everything that you're reading. Um, and I will check with you guys a little later. Bye. Hey guys, so it's about 1.15. Um, I have showered, I washed my hair, I picked up the bedroom, um, and then I did a couple projects in the kitchen that I needed to get done. I cleaned out our pots and pans. I reorganized like our spice cabinet and our canned food cabinet and like our like, olive oil and balsamic vinegars and things like that. I organized that. Um, I have a couple things left in the kitchen, but it is a good spot to stop for today because I do want to get some other things done. Um, so I'm going to make some lunch um, and then I think I'm going to watch an episode of something. I'm not sure what I'm I am in the middle of a few shows, so I'll probably watch an episode of something while I eat lunch and then dive back into reading in about an hour, hour and a half or so. Um, don't know if I'm going to just pick up Red, White, and Royal Blue or if I want to start something new. Um, we shall see when I am ready to sit down and read, but I hope everyone's doing well, I hope everyone's having a good day. And I'm checking in. Bye.
Um, I am just sitting down to read. Um, I did finish eating lunch. I watched an episode of Buffy. I just started season seven. Um, and then I talked to my mom for a little bit. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is since I'm sitting in bed, um, I'm going to pick up my book to read uh, in the same room, which is going to be the bedroom. And that is going to be Harry Potter Journey Through a History of Magic. Um, I'm just going to probably read this for a little bit, just kind of pick it up, maybe um, read through a little bit of it, put some um, background music on, and then check in with you guys um, after I finish some progress. Hey everyone, so it is about 4.30 or so, a little after. Um, I am about 48 pages into A History of Magic. Um, I'm actually not making as much progress as I was wanting to, um, but I did kind of fall down the rabbit hole of Instagram videos, and I was on Twitter for a little bit, um, but I am still, I am enjoying this. I actually really like the way this book is set up. Um, each chapter is a different like course at Hogwarts so chapter the first chapter was potions and alchemy and then herbology and now I'm on charms um, and it has a really nice mixture of um, like unseen artifacts from Harry Potter and JK Rowling um, it has little pieces of like script you can see her editing process it also actually has a lot of like non-fiction like real elements in this and um the real life things that inspired the fictional world of harry potter like it talks about how mandrakes you know the real version of mandrakes and what those are compared to obviously the fictional version of harry potter um it talks about you know potions and like how potions evolved over history and the history of potions like real life potions um, and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's very interesting. I'm actually learning quite a lot of new things. Um, each chat, it also has some really cool illustrations in here that JK Rowling did before Harry Potter was published. So you kind of get an idea of like her original, um, imagery of what she imagined her characters looked like. Um, and then it does have the beautiful illustrations from Jim K from the illustrated editions in here. Um, and there's just some really cool, interesting things. It's definitely something I think, um, is a great uh, addition to a Harry Potter collector shelf. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, it's got some great, um, it's a great addition. If I wasn't doing this read of mine, I honestly don't know if I would, this would be something that I read through in its entirety um but I am really enjoying it and I am intrigued to learn some new things um especially when we get to the care of magical creatures section since my degree is in animal science I feel like that's the one that I'm gonna like relate to the most um but I'm really enjoying it I um, think I'm gonna read through the charm section um and I think I'm gonna read through the next chapter which is charms and then uh, maybe take a break and figure out what the dinner plan is. But I hope everyone is doing well and I will check in with you guys later. Bye. reading 74 pages in red white and royal blue i am up to page 202 which i'm about halfway through 
and I'm about halfway through. I am absolutely loving this and I cannot wait to read more tomorrow. And then I read it's in its entirety all 144 pages, Harry Potter, A Journey Through a History of Magic. This was to complete the challenge of reading a book in the same room the whole time. Um, so my wrap up is I read a total of 218 pages. I have one book completed and one challenge completed, um, which um, overall I'm really happy with my progress for day one. I um, It's been a long time since I've read that many pages in a day, but I'm so excited to pick this up tomorrow and start a new book. Um, I hope everyone Everyone had a great day and I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.